I really suggest one of these like big ass cups from Walmart. They're great. Hi everyone, it's Tana Mojo, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. So, today's video is going to be a party related story time because you guys request those like no fucking other. I think that that is the video that you guys probably request the most is a story time and or a party related story time. And I just want to set up a disclaimer, all of my party related stories are absolutely nothing other than a warning so that you guys don't do the dumb shit I have done. I was a rebel child in my high school days. I'm a good person now, good kid now. Stay at home, read a book, you know, whatever. But back in the day, your girl liked to go to a turn up or two. So yeah, I like to tell these stories as literally just like an alert, a PSA, a fucking weather warning, you know the ones like beep on your phone, like the flash flood warnings? Those, to people in high school, to not be a dumbass bitch like I was. So yeah, please don't think I'm like bragging about how cool I was, cause that's like not it at all. I literally look back and just wanna like roundhouse kick myself in the face. Like what were you doing, Tana? So yeah, today's story time. So yeah, today's party story time is going to be about the time I got arrested and banned from the Cosmopolitan Hotel here in Las Vegas. I fucking know. What do you mean, Tana? I was literally like 16. Why was I arrested? We'll just get into it. So, I don't remember what time last year this was, but I know that it was during the cold time because I was wearing a Brandy Melville halter top and high-waisted shorts and I was freezing like a dumb little thought. But yeah so that's just to reference you it was in the cold time last year so yeah I'm really good at dates and calendars I swear so yeah it was last year at some time that it was cold outside and me and my friend Isabella who you may have seen in a couple videos she was in my pumpkin spice <coughs> challenge video and she has her own YouTube channel, I'll link it below. But anyways, me and my friend Isabella decided we wanted to go to a party. And the way parties work in the Vegas realm is that every Friday and Saturday night, all the like teenagers and kids that want to go out, all are texting each other and one of them sends out a party address. And then everyone shows up to that address. You don't know where it's going to be. You don't know whose house it is. It's not fucking safe, especially in Las Vegas. Whatever, I don't know, don't do it now, used to do that. That's what would happen. So, it was like a Friday night, and instead of getting an address, it was a hotel. And hotel parties are really, really common in Vegas. And I know that if you live in other places in the world, it's probably not as common. But I mean, it's pretty common because hotels on the Strip aren't that expensive, so teenagers will just get them for one night, throw a party in them, everybody rages, everybody goes home, you know? So, there was a party at the penthouse suite at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. So, yeah, it was a Friday night penthouse party at the Cosmopolitan. I was ready, Isabella was ready, we got ready, and we drove there. And we get there, and there's probably only, like, 25 kids at this, like, party. It was more of, like, a kickback. Everyone was just sitting, talking, chilling. Like, it wasn't, like, live. It wasn't, like, lit. Like, everyone was just, you know, bicking back, being bold. I'm just kidding. I'm white. Anyways, so yeah, everyone was just chilling, and most of the people there were 18 or above, 18 to like 21 or 2, and that is something really shitty, is I've always been friends with people older than me, that's just how I am, I don't really have the same mindset or maturity track as people my age, so I've always just kind of befriended people who were like 1 or 2 or 3 years older than me, that's just where I feel that I fit in better, you know? So... Yeah, everyone there was legal and or legally allowed to drink. So I was probably the only person there who was underage. Actually, I know I was for a fact, but we'll get into that later. So yeah, me and Isabella show up. We're just hanging out with all of our friends, whatever. And as the party goes on, there's a knock at the door. And it's hotel security. And nobody really freaks out when hotel security comes because to be honest with you, hotel security is very chill compared to police. They're not police officers. Their job isn't to like arrest you and make sure you're abiding by all the laws. Their job is just to make sure the hotel is safe and clean and not fucked up and nobody's like, you know, shitting themselves in the middle of the floor, you know? And so if a party gets too loud, hotel security will usually come up and say like, hey, shut the fuck up. There's people around you. You be quiet, you know? And then everybody is quiet. And so they came up 
And they were like, hey, you guys are being a bit loud. Like, we're just going to need you to quiet down a bit. And so whoever had the hotel that night was like, yeah, okay, like, no big deal. We're really sorry. Like, sorry about that. We didn't mean to do that. We'll be quiet. And so the party quiets down. Everyone's still just chilling and talking. And then before you know it, there's another knock at the door. But the difference between the two knocks is the hotel security knock is like, knock, knock, hey, it's hotel security. And then when cops knock on a door, they don't give a flying fuck, especially cops in Las Vegas. Cops in Las Vegas do not give one single fuck. And it's like, bang, bang, bang. And everybody in the party knows that that's a cop knock. Regular people don't fucking knock like that. And when it's the cops, it's not like hotel security. Everyone's not still chilling. People aren't still like sipping their beers and chilling, you know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh shit, it's the cops. Like, chill the fuck out. Put your fucking drink down. Fucking sit down, drink some water. You know what I mean? And so the cops show up. And it is like six metro cops. Six. For like a hotel party of 20. And they're fucking pissed. I don't know why they're so fucking pissed, but they're fucking pissed. So these cops walk in and they're like, we don't give a fuck what you guys have to say. Like, da 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 da. They told you to be quiet. You didn't quiet the fuck down. Everybody sit against the wall now. And they make everybody in this party line up against this wall. And I don't know why the cop was so mad because we really were being quiet, especially for the fact that this was a penthouse suite. It's huge. It has an upstairs. It has a downstairs. It has a kitchen. It, like, it's fucking huge. And there's only 20 people in it, and everyone's just talking. We really weren't being loud enough in my opinion at least, for the cops to be that fucking mad, you know? And so they make us all sit against the wall. And this cop is just talking so motherfucking down to us. Like, he is on his high horse. He is on his high motherfucking unicorn. Like, he literally does not give one shit. He takes pride in his, like, 20, 25 an hour job being a police officer. And I'm like, you know what? Do your thing. I'm not the person who thinks I'm above the police. I don't think, like that I can disrespect them. I know they will motherfucking take my little blonde white ass to the ground and handcuff me and take me to jail. So I'm being very, very respectful to the cops, as is everyone. And the cop is basically just like, are you guys on drugs? Do you guys do cocaine? Like, what's what's in the hotel room? And there's nothing bad. No one's on drugs. Everyone's just like, some people are drinking. Like, the people who are 21, people who are 20, people who are 19, are like sipping a beer or two. Really, everyone was just chilling. But this cop will not let down. And then they bring up two more cops and two drug dogs to this fucking cosmopolitan suite where we're literally just chilling. I don't know. So the drug dogs are walking around and then the police officer is like, raise your hand if you're 21. So then let, there's about 25 people. Let's say nine or 10 people raise their hand and they're like, okay, let me see your ID, whatever. I'm going to charge you guys with minor consumption of alcohol because they were saying like they were providing to the minors. You know what I mean? And so he writes all those people tickets and then lets them go. And then there's the rest of the group. And he's like, okay, if you're 18, raise your hand. And then all the 18 year olds raise their hand. They have to show their ID to prove that they're 18. And then he makes them sign like a form that they can't come back to the Cosmopolitan until they're 21. And then I think writes them a ticket too for minor consumption of alcohol. I don't know. Let's them all go. There are two people left now. Do you want to take a wild wild fucking guess who the two people left sitting in that cosmopolitan hotel with eight metro police officers and two drug dogs were <sighs> bitch you guessed it it was me and isabella so we're sitting there like hey officer can we just go like i'm sorry and so the cop's like how old are you and then we're both like we're 16 because we were 16 at the time whatever I'm not one to lie to the police like they just hate it there's no point so whatever my parents knew where I was it was like you know what I mean not a big deal I wasn't in any trouble I just wanted to leave and like Isabella was sober I was sober we did not drink like that was not going on nothing like that so we weren't doing anything wrong other than breaking the law of curfew which is if you are under 18 you have to be home by midnight however if you are in somewhere like a hotel and you're sleeping there, you're not breaking curfew. But if you have to leave that hotel, you are. So now, because we had to leave the room, we were breaking curfew. And so this cop is standing this close to mine and Isabella's faces. And he's like, 
who the fuck do you think you are? Like, what do you think you're doing coming out this late? You're just a baby. You're 16. Like, go the fuck home. Like, da 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 Are you drunk? And then I'm like, no, officer, I'm not drunk. I'm sorry that I'm here, but I'm allowed to go here by permission of my parents. I don't understand why you're being so mean. And he's like, you're fucking drunk. You're fucking wasted. You're slurring your fucking words. And I literally was talking like this. Like, I was not doing that. Like, I don't know why he was, like, doing that. He's, like, shining light in my eyes. He's like, your pupils are dilated. You're fucking drunk. And so I look at him, and I'm like, breathalyze me then. And he's like, what? Are you getting attitude now? And I'm like, no, but, like, I'm not drunk. Like, breathalyze me. And he's like, oh, she has attitude, everyone. Like, to all the other ups. He's like, the blonde one has attitude. And I'm like, Yeah, I was getting a little bit angry, still being respectful, still a police officer, whatever. And now all of the hotel security is saying, okay, we just need the room cleared out. We need to get these two gone. They've got to go home. Like, you can't just stay here and interrogate them all night. They seem sober. The hotel security was being very nice. And all of the other cops were starting to agree. They're like, yeah, like, let's just let them leave. They drove here in their car. They're both sober. Like, they're just going to go home. But this one motherfucking cop had the persistence, he had the eye of the motherfucking tiger because he was not giving up. He's like, no, if they're big enough to come to this fucking party, they're big enough to go to big people jail. And I'm like, excuse me, what am I going to jail for? And he's like, well, you're out past curfew. And I'm like, okay, my parents will come get me. That's the law. Like, if you're out past curfew, your parents have to come get you. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to make sure you didn't drink tonight. We're going to make sure this. We're going to run these tests. And I'm like, oh, my, really? Like, really, bitch? Really? Like, you really have to do this right now? Like, can I just leave? Like, please? So then, this one persistent ass cop takes us down to the security portion of the Cosmopolitan Hotel. He then proceeds to read me my rights, take my picture of my face this way, take my picture of my face these two ways, take the fingerprints of not, not just my thumb, not just my fucking pointer finger, every fucking finger on my hand like make sure you get my pinky that's gonna incriminate me in case I decide to rob the cosmopolitan in 10 years like what and he takes all my fingerprints and then they breathalyze me they do like a pulse test they do like the eye test he makes me say the alphabet backwards walk in a straight line do the little like finger thing like this and I'm literally like fuck you pay me like you know what I mean Ugh. so I pass all his little dick ass tests and he's like well, I guess you are sober. And then he does the same thing to my friend. She's also sober. And then he calls our parents. My friend has a little bit more strict parents. They were mad. Mine really weren't that mad um, because they knew where I was, you know? And so her parents show up and the cop, the fucking cop, has the audacity to look at her father. Also, this is just a quick note. But it was Isabella's mom's wedding night when this happened. So she had her wedding night, like her honeymoon, you know, she's getting, you know, was interrupted by this happening. But that's just, that's just a side detail. So yeah, the dad shows up to pick up Isabella and the cop looks at the dad and is like, your daughter's been drinking. She's drunk. This is why you had to come get her because she's drunk. And we're like, like he blatantly, blatantly outright lied to her father just to be a dick. And then my parents come to get me. Basically, this officer is like, hey, you're banned from the Cosmopolitan for the next, like, five years or something like that. Yeah, until I was 21, so it was five years. He's like, you're banned from the Cosmopolitan until the next five years if you step foot on our property or any other Cosmopolitan-owned property. He read all the Cosmopolitan-owned properties. You will be promptly arrested and taken to jail for trespassing and charged with a $1,000 fine. And I'm like... Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I did not do anything wrong. Like, this is so out of pocket. And he's like, I'm sorry. Maybe you should have stayed home. Da -da -da -da. So then I go home. And about a month later, my friend's dad luckily works very high up in the casino world. So he did have my ban lifted. But that officer is out there somewhere. And he just wasn't too nice. So yeah. That is the story of the time that I was arrested and detained, fingerprinted, pictures taken, banned from the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Yeah, kind of a strange story. I don't really know what to tell you guys. I guess my word of advice to end this story is that if you are not of legal curfew age, 
stay home or go to a house party. I don't, I don't even know, children. Just don't be dumb like me, all right? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that bullshit. I will talk to you guys in the next video, and I love you a lot. Bye.